Football fans across the world are gearing up for game day. And right here in Los Angeles, everything's kicking into high gear from stadium preps to the star studded parties. The city is buzzing with football fever as we count down to Super Bowl 56, now less than 48 hours away. City Hall, Union Station, the U.S. Bank Tower, and Santa Monica Piers Ferris Wheel are all lit up in gold and blue as the host city roots for a Rams win. We've got live team coverage of the big game as tens of thousands of football fans flock to L.A. Let's begin with KTLA's Pedro Rivera live at SoFi Stadium in Englewood where it'll all go down. Pedro. Yeah, Mike is share one thing I learned this week covering the Super Bowl preps is that there's going to be winners and losers. The winners are pretty much anyone who enjoys uh, great commercials, uh, the halftime show, amazing football, and of course finger foods. But the losers is people who live in Southern California have to drive and all that traffic we've been dealing with all week. Well, I say come Sunday, we all just be winners. Sit back and enjoy a great game. It's almost game day, and inside the stadium, the colors of a California sunset take over SoFi, with lucky fans ready to see the two top teams, the Bengals and the Rams, go at it for the Lombardi Trophy. I should film. We've had two weeks to watch it. I'm tired of watching film. I'm ready to go play. Everybody's excited about this, you know, that we have plenty of guys who have played in this game before on our team, and we have some guys that have never played in it, so it's a great mix. One thing L.A. is known for is bad traffic, and all week there's been nothing but brake lights shining bright on Los Angeles freeways, contrasting the blue and gold skyline. This video taken by Sky 5 shows what it's like heading into downtown L.A., where the NFL experience has taken over the L.A. Convention Center, filled with fans hoping their team gets the win. Defense wins championships. It's rock and roll. The last three weeks have been the best sports moments of my life. The Super Bowl and great weather has also attracted celebrities. Take a look at this shot from Van Nuys Airport showing a number of private jets parked on the tarmac. But unlike the jet setting celebs, many of us are watching from home, and there are still plenty of reasons to keep an eye on the television screen. This year's Super Bowl halftime show is one for the culture. West Coast vibes with Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem, joined by the queen, Mary J. Blige. Because we know a lot of people didn't want hip-hop on stage. True that. We're here now, and it ain't nothing you can do Thank about you. it. <laughs> We're going to show exactly how professional we can be, how dope we can be on stage. The day after the Super Bowl, people are talking about the commercials just as much as the game. Companies are expected to spend a combined $500 million on ads. And sure, there will be the usual Bud Light commercial that brings a tear to your eye. But this year, for the most part, it's all about the fun. Really this year, after the past two years and how um, there's so much fatigue really out there, brands really are looking to entertain football viewers. They uh, really want to create more of a party atmosphere. Back on the field, as the Bengals and Rams square off in SoFi Stadium, both franchises are hoping to make history. The Rams franchise hasn't won a Super Bowl since they were playing in St. Louis in 2000. And as for the Bengals, well, it's been 33 years since their last Super Bowl appearance, and they they are 0 and 2. This young fan thinks that losing streak will continue. Rams are going to dominate. We're going to lock Joe Burrow up. Okay, so on the KTLA 5 News at 5, I picked the Bengals to win. Cher picked the Rams. So, Micah, Ooh. where Ooh. are you leaning right now? You, ah, you know, I, a lot of people opening their eyes after what the Bengals did uh, to the Chiefs at Arrowhead. But I have to go with the Rams. They've got the experience. Uh, they've had the comforts yeah. of home for the last couple of weeks. They have too many weapons. I like their defensive line against that O-line of the Bengals. They've got too many disruptors, chief disruptors in the game. They're going to force the Bengals to turn the ball over, and those things make the difference in a game like this. Look at yeah, that. And I think Vegas that agrees answer? with you. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Vegas, I, I, you know, I was not expecting that answer, but he's, he's right. Vegas agrees with him. Right now, they're three, three and a half point favorites. The game starts at 3.30, so we'll see if Micah and Cher are correct in their prediction. Reporting live from SoFi, Pedro Rivera, KTLA 5 News. We got a city behind us. That's right.